hi everyone this is fagun shah from integration lab and today we are going to see how to use looping in public connect right so let me first start with a image which basically shows that so what happened was that one user asked that uh, they wanted to send uh, unlimited reminders uh, via public connect until a particular condition is not fulfilled okay so like they want to send a reminder every one minute when the site is down until that site is up again right using better uptime uh, sas right now here is uh, what i recommend to do right i will also show you that live as well okay so let me open the image so example of looping in public connect okay now there are total of three workflows first workflow the this is the by the way the example which i am taking on but you can use anything as a trigger here okay it doesn't matter actually so we are taking a form submission from public connect forms okay then we are adding a new row in google sheet to just add as a record okay then we are sending the first message okay uh, on the whatsapp to ask them to submit their documents on a particular link in this case i am just going to use normal google.com link okay uh, because again this is a example only then we are sending that data uh, the data which we captured from the webhook we are sending some of those data to workflow number 2 here okay now workflow number two has a webhook as a trigger and workflow number one's last step is api step so basically we are making a post request to workflow two and then there is a delay of one minute and then we are basically looking up the data in google sheet that if the status is document submitted or not if the status is document submitted only then it will stop right here otherwise it will go ahead from the filter and send the number uh, next whatsapp message and send data to another workflow so now this second and third workflow basically creates a loop okay so probably doesn't allow you to send data back to the exit same webhook that's why we have to create data, uh, send data to third workflow first and then send it to the second workflow back okay so whatever we are capturing in here we are again sending it back to workflow 3 and workflow uh, 3 will basically send it back to workflow 2 again right and again then the delay and lookup will happen and filter will happen and based on the result of the filter it will send or not send the message if filter is not uh, successful if filter condition fails then it will stop the loop right there okay so yeah basically this is how you totally do things uh, like looping the things in the public connect okay and yeah let's see how it uh, turns out in the real life okay so let me go to public connect form i am let me first delete my record because i only have one number to test with so i will just delete the record and okay so e so let's the, use that name Utsav Shah 9182381 okay don't call me on this number I don't provide any support via call whatsapp uh, okay I only provide support via facebook chat nothing else so yeah I am submitting the record here okay and we should be able to see that here right and you can see we have received the first message as well at 4 31 pm okay it is 31st december and yeah we have received the first message now when the minute changes it should keep on sending the message unless in i change the status from form submitted to docs submitted right okay so let's wait for five or ten more seconds and it should go ahead and send me the second message as well and you can see the utsav is uh, name is here this link is also dynamic we i have just passed the okay yeah here you can see the second message came in as well okay so let's keep this on for a moment and let's go through the workflow actual workflows okay so here you can see i am capturing a lot of data from public connect webhook okay uh form id is there last name first name and phone number then i am just selecting a template and basically sending a template message via whatsapp cloud api okay and then i am adding a google sheet row and 
then i am sending the data to another public connect workflow which is part 2 this was part 1 workflow this is part 2 now the thing which you need to keep in mind is this label name and phone needs to be the exact same in all the api uh, calls across all three workflows you can't change those labels you have to match all labels in all three workflows api steps okay so please make sure you do that okay now we are sending it to uh, second workflow you can see i received another message as well right and uh, in second part you can see the response received uh, ignore the capitalization probably does that automatically but in actual real life it is small only okay uh, i am delaying the workflow by one minute just for testing you can delay it by as much as you want okay like two days every send message every one day every two day whatever you like okay then we are looking up the here in the b column via phone number okay this and then we are receiving a result and then we are checking if this thing does not equal to doc submitted only then it should go ahead and send another message the same message next uh, one more time okay and once that is done send data to workflow number three okay and what will number third workflow will do it will just send that data back to workflow number two now workflow number two is receiving data from workflow number one and three but the main thing is the format the label key value pair is exactly the same right as you saw here we are getting the data in workflow number two via workflow number one and via workflow number three as well okay it goes from here to here right now you can see this moving line basically so that basically indicates that that thing can execute one or more time at least one or more time okay so yeah basically this is the whole looping uh, concept in uh, public connect and uh, yeah i hope that many people will find it useful i have already written some use cases like send unlimited reminders as uh, user wanted for when their site is down they detect that via better uptime and then they will just loop through that okay then perform a particular set of actions unless the filter is failed okay you can see here that we are still receiving 43 44 35 as well okay and now i will just change it to like doc submitted so basically i have changed the status okay now it is 35 435 right now it should not send a message until uh, it should not send any message now okay it should just stop right there okay so the message sending of looping is from second part of workflow right and somehow probably is taking a little bit more time yeah okay oh maybe i am in like direct history so let me select the okay yeah this is the part and you can see it is it is stopped at after four so the filter basically failed because the status was doc submitted right so yeah this is how it works and uh, yeah uh, you can set recurring task reminders uh, and you can control the sending or not sending via particular uh, google sheet as well right you can modify this workflow like it is very easy to modify these workflows and you can also do something like uh, yeah i can i will add future use cases like uh, some advanced use cases i have in mind okay via uh, my future videos okay uh, you can see it is not coming in here uh, it hasn't sent me message in this one uh, it was just my other chat okay there is no message after 4 35 okay two minutes has already been gone by and yeah there are no messages new messages here okay so yeah this is how basically the looping works and i hope that you find this useful and uh, yeah i might take some time to edit this video so it will take little bit more time maybe publish in new year okay but yeah whenever you watch this video make sure you subscribe my channel for more uh, 
informative videos like this more advanced videos related to public connect okay and yeah if you want to hire me just uh, dm me on facebook my facebook link will be in the description and yeah we can connect and understand your use case and i can do the automation setup for you as well okay uh, so yeah happy new year in advance uh, and see you in the next video till then thank you bye bye